M0FXB Quashang TK11. This is the Dash 5 model for Europe. We've got the 8 model here. Now, really, the main difference is you've got this sort of chrome style front on the 8 model and you've got a larger battery. The battery looks the same, but it's 3000 milliamp hours. Otherwise, I'd say they're identical devices. Even the box is identical. So just open it up. It's very well packaged. And these are, you know, I do like these devices. They're very good. Um, I feel like they remind me mainly of the, the Radtel 860. I feel like it's the nearest thing to, you know, that's on the market to the Radtel or the iRadio uh, 88 model where you've basically got HF, VHF, UHF, airband. And, uh, and, and yeah, they do transmit on CB bands, 10 meters. The key difference is... I'd say the iRadio Radtel model has got USB-C programming, which I, I think is quite cool. And you'll see as we start to take unbox, and you do get good, very good instruction manuals, I think, English as well. And you'll see as we start to unbox this, that on the side of this, so you get a, a belt clip with this cool sort of clip here, look comes out so you can put that in the radio in the nor in the normal way you you'd put a belt clip and then you've got this extended piece that just sort of slips over here with a nice washout and I think these are quite gimmicky myself I feel like the monkey logo and these antennas were cr designed for good advertising good good PR uh, very clever as well because everyone literally everyone fell for it um, and um, you know, let's face facts, the 3.5 antenna jack, you know, it's quite small for what for all the work that it's going to need to do. That's all I can say. They have managed to keep the LED uh, here, or the torch, should I say. They've managed to keep that. And you've still got an LED here, red and green, and you've got an LED at the back as well when you're charging and you can have this the same thing on the TK8 model nice very nice design solid very good quality design both of these feel excellent you don't fit, feel what well, you're not worried that you may drop this one day um, so the thing I have noticed is that and I took one of these apart underneath here there is room inside the board to fit uh, USB-C for programming so I feel like that's that's going to come one day um, otherwise you've got your normal Kenwood Bofeng connectors there for programming and it works fine good software I've looked at the software and I very no problems at all with the software once you get used to any software two PTTs that actually work and then two programmable buttons and, and the nice thing about these they have fitted these nice big knobs but it has made the air the area where the antenna goes quite tight um that's all but it's not that it's not usable and to take these apart it's not hard you just take out the rings underneath the buttons and then if we take the battery off just to show you the milliamp powers are 2500 here Okay, and you'll see that it's labelled. It does do 10 watts as well. These are doing 10 watts. And they've been tested by many. The harmonics on the bands that the radio is intended for are completely fine as well. So that's all good news. Nice, solid, good quality, you know, radio. Um, and there's your little monkey logo. And yeah, well done to Quashang for coming up with such good marketing come on everyone was talking about it they didn't even know what it did eventually i realized it was basically a uvk 5k6 enhanced with hf bands cb bands but they did a really nice job for it and they are and then now that the price has come down to around 60 60 70 pounds um we'll get i feel like we're getting a, a lot for our money in the box you just get like you say the antenna the belt clip and if we just take this off and it's good packaging nothing no problem with the packaging very good quality usb sorry um charging dock two antennas main supply and this one is like a euro style supply mains and the other thing oh yeah quite a big belt clip clip 
Um, just sort of slip that in there. Probably take the battery off first so you don't scratch it anywhere here. That's what I'll do now. There you go. So let's show you how to use this device. I've already made videos on the other one, uh, but I think it's very easy to use. You're literally just typing any frequency you're interested in, whether it's airband, CB, HF, and away you go. And it's got a band scope, a frequency detector. It's got this thing called magic voice that I'll demonstrate in another video. But it basically changes your voice slightly, which I don't even know if hams are even allowed to, to do that. But anyway, <laughs> uh, it's got it in there and uh, it does have a, you know, a scope there. Uh, really, as far as I can see, the scope is for the sort of VHF, UHF bands. Air band sounds really good. They've given us this nice antenna, which I really like. I really like it. Yeah, definitely. Uh, as well. So if you want to use HF, you are going to need to put an antenna in there. I'm not going to use the little dipole they give you because it's no good for HF if you ask me, but it's, it's okay for other bands. So you get yourself an adapter on Amazon, see that, it's BNC 3.5 and then I've got a BNC to SO239, poke it in there. And let's just dive straight into the HF band just to show you um, and I've been testing it on, but they work, it works identically well on both devices. But look, we got it there. And uh, it's as good as how busy the conditions are. And you just press the hash. You always have to press the hash to put in a, a frequency on this device. That's standard. And although it's a Quashang style screen, it's actually very nice. Uh, so what we'll do is just go um, hash. And then we'll do zero. zero. Uh, zero, zero seven, seven one five, five zero. zero. That's HF forty meters. Change the mode with the eight button, number eight, lower sideband. You do have to wiggle the antenna a little bit, and then just look through. Sounds funny, doesn't sound like that's better. It took a while to get it. One thing I will say, you've got to turn it full volume, so the amplifier they've added to the board needs a bit of help, maybe. But if you go full volume, it's fine. So how do we get, you know, how do we get airband? You literally just hash. One, three, three, eight, five, zero. We're on airband. Um, it's using the first antenna now. Now, you do need to use the center antenna for all your HF bands. If you want to listen to upside band, lower side band, uh, you're using the, the center antenna. It's receive only. It won't transmit. But when you're using the first antenna, uh, you'll see that um, you can just type in, say, even a CB band or a two meters band, 70 centimeters, even 220 megs, 50 megs and four meters, 70 megs. It will do it all. Uh, how well it does it. There's lots and lots of videos showing harmonics and all the rest of it. But generally, it's, it looked at as a clean radio on 70 cents, two meters. And even on CB, it's okay. So to do CB, you just press hash, turn it down, and just go 0, 0, 2, 2, 7, 6, 6 7, 7, 1. one. And we're on the CB bands now, and it's on FM only at the moment. If someone knows how to get it onto AM, let me know when we're using the first antenna. You can also type the 10 meter ham band, 29, 28, 29 megahertz. Uh, and if we want to, we could put in there sort of zero, seven, zero, four, five, zero, and we're on the four meter band. And uh, yeah, there's lots doing tests for that. Broadcast radio, just press this. Angus go nine, see if it will let me do it. Do I have to put the frequency in? Let's try it. Um, zero, uh, nine, nine, four, four three. three. There you are. To have a smart meter. And then like exit it. to come out of your broadcast radio. And we saw the band scope. So we go on here two meters, let's say. Actually, let's do air band. Squelch. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Shortcuts on every button. Look at that. Squelch. Squelch. And to make a change, press menu again. Confirm. 
menu. So, squelch level, change it. Oh, let's do it again. Menu, Welch. level, and menu. Pump. And then exit. Cancel. So these are one touch shortcuts if you come out all the way. Cancel. They're one touch shortcuts. And look at the back, look at that one there where you've got like a balance because this is a dual receive simultaneous radio. So that Cancel. means you can have one. Welch. Let's do it right. Hash one. one three, three, eight, five, zero. So we've got air band there. We'll go to the B band. And we, of course, you can save memories, Welch. but. Cancel. Hash, and then we go one, one four, five, six hundred. Zero. We're now dual receiving. Just need to, to make sure that's turned on, just go menu. menu across to, I think, yeah, it does work. So to the right, you go menu, go to the right. Then look for, go press menu again, and you're going across to you see dual receive on, okay? Uh, time out for talking, we can change that. There's some air band coming in there. If anyone else comes back, I'm going to get a lot of aircraft flying over me. Bristol Airport, Cardiff, Exeter. And that's just on the included antenna. And then GB3WR on the B. And when you press the balance, you can sort of choose with the arrow which one's going to be louder. The B band or the A band. Cancel. Dedicated A B button, which I really like. Dedicated VFO a memory. Frequency mode. Which is VFO. Channel mode. Which is your one. memories. And you have to have channels in the memories to see them, but they, they always put some in, don't they? And and yes, you can program this using the radio easily, and I've made videos on that already. And then if you want to if you're in say in VFO mode, Frequency mode. and you want to just flip through all the bands that it covers, just press the band button. 2 meters, 220, and it will TX on T20, um, but there's no signal coming out, you know, there's no signal coming out, that's what I've learned. Um, and there's a secret menu, if you turn it off, press the PTT, bottom PTT, and the button underneath, turn it on. Monkey, Welcome. that monkey has sold a lot of radios. Uh, and then if you go to the right, look for the word TX, So I had it earlier, unless it's different on this software. There it is there. If you turn that on, it will TX on 220, but there's no power, no power at all. Okay. Anyway, we're not, we're not in the USA. So let's go back to one, three, oh, don't forget the hash. I'm back on airband, if we hit the seven, we're now scanning airband. I know it's quite a basic screen, but it, I don't know, it just works, you know? It just does, it does what it's meant to do. So no complaints about the, uh, the fact that it's a basic screen, not a color screen. Um, and yeah, we've got the UV98 color screen, triple screen. We've also got the Rato 880 one as well. Uh, but you know, it's, ultimately they're different radios. And um, 